Hi, this is Ajay Jangade in this video, and you are watching Jogi and You. You are going to learn today a question related to arithmetic progression, which is how many terms of arithmetic progression nine, seventeen, twenty-five, dot 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 till infinite must be taken to give a sum of six thirty-six, and it says that how many of terms we should sum to get six thirty-six in total. The first term. Second term and third term and so on. So first of all, make some blank space here to solve this question. And here is our given AP, which is nine seventeen twenty five dot dot dot. So let the sum of n term be six thirty six. That means S n is equal to six thirty six. These all are the given things from the question. By the way, friends, Creative Corner's timeout is back again in a new avatar. It's time to explore your creativity while you learn so get set to learn something new. So it's a learning festival which is absolutely free for all age from 12 and above. All you need to do is just register in advance and attend all the seasons. Spend a full day with creative professionals, brilliant performers and master of the trade. Every scientist, engineer, doctor, magician and artist was once a learner just like you. So give wings to your imagination and learn without limits. Put on your creative hats and get ready for the Un Academy's Time Out 2021. And the most exciting part is you can win a subscription for Creative Corners by submitting us a video of yourself recreating something that you learned in our Time Out seasons. The date is 31st January and the time is 9 a.m. onwards. All the links are given in the description. Go and register yourself. So let's get back to the question. So we write all the things given in our question, and after that, for calculating sum of n term, there is a formula. But before that, we calculate some things here, just like a, which is our first term, and the difference between two consecutive terms, d is equals to seventeen minus nine, which is eight, and it's also called common difference for an AP. So next term minus previous term is d. So these are some figures we have, and with the help of that, we will solve this question. And for solving this question, we have a formula which is the sum of n term, which is n upon two in bracket two a plus n minus one d is equal to s n. So here we have to find n term, which we don't know, but we have a, d, and s n. We have all these terms here. Now, if you think we just replace these values and calculate it, so we will got our answer. So actually, not because there will be two different answer, and we have to reject one answer. Why? I will tell you that time when this position will come. But for now, you just see this. What we did here, we have two multiply nine and eight in the second term. Eight also has two in this. Two multiply four. So we took both these two as common. Put it here outside the bracket like this. Now, this two will be cancelled with this two, and rest we have is this. Now we will distribute this four in the bracket, in the whole bracket, and after distributing, we have four n minus four, and then nine minus four, five, and then just distribute this n into this bracket, which is five n plus four n square is equals to six thirty six. Transfer this six thirty six to the left. Rearrange high power term to the left also. Now we have four n square plus five n minus six thirty six is equals to zero. So we have quadratic equation here, and for solving quadratic equation, you just need to have a quadratic formula, and for quadratic formula, we want a, b, and c. These are the coefficient, and what are a, b, c? A, b, c are a is equals to four. B is equals to five, and C is equals to minus six thirty six. So just use quadratic formula here and replace all these values in it. Now we have the value of n, which is n is equals to minus five plus minus under the root five square minus four into four into minus six thirty six upon two into four. And after calculating, here we have under the root. Twenty-five plus one zero one seven six, and then we have this, and then we just have this. 
So we have plus and minus here. So just use both separately. And after calculating, we have this. And then we have two values of n, which are n is equals to 12 or minus 53 upon 4. So which value should we consider as our answer? And for that, we have a best way. See the n, n is a natural number. And you know very well, my friend, natural number can never be a negative number because it starts from 1. So it's always positive. And also it cannot be a rational number. So it's clear that just cancel out this minus term and consider this positive 12 as our answer. So you see how we cancel the negative term? So see this whole process on a single paper. And if any of you who wants to write down can write down by pausing the video. So friends, did you like this video? If you do, then hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for such more videos. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.